Hello, hello, it's me. It is almost midnight on the 20th of September. Um, that's a Thursday. It is my last night here, um, which is kind of strange to think about. Um, tomorrow I have a discussion about the test in which we get our grades back kind of nervous because my teacher <laughs> uh, was talking about it today and he's like, yeah, we got a lot to talk about in that tone of voice that teachers, like with the entire class, not specifically with me, or I'd be freaking out a lot more than this, in that tone of voice that teachers use when they're like, disappointed, disappointed, um, except not like that, actually disappointed instead of angry. So, I don't know, man. Um, and, um, other than that, today has been pretty good so far. I slept fairly well last night. I actually felt rested when I woke up, which was nice. I kind of a change um, from the last couple nights. I haven't slept particularly well. Um, although, actually, at this point, I've, I've hit the, uh, it's too late, you're not going to get a good night's sleep point. Um, which is a shame. Last night I went to bed at like 11.30, which was a much better idea. Um, we watched a movie in my afternoon class, which was way better than like anything else that we've done. It was called uh, Jungkind, which translates to Jungle Child. And it was about a girl from Germany, actually a German family, but specifically a girl, who moves to Papa Papua, Papua New Guinea, um, and and lives there for basically grows up there and has like culture shock when she goes visits Germany, um, and it's a uh, I thought it was quite good although it had it managed to avoid mostly that thing that movies do where they're like oh the white people are coming and they're teaching the indigenous people things to make their life better. I managed to avoid that pretty well. Pretty well. There was one point where it was like, there were two tribes clashing, and the dad was like, Stop! My daughter is unhappy, and you should stop fighting! And they were like, okay. And I was like, really? Really? That's it? Okay. I won't buy that. Um, but, yeah. Um... It was, it was generally a pretty enjoyable movie. Um, and then this afternoon was the time allotted to, um, to cook stuff for this evening, but I only know how to cook eggs and applesauce, and I don't have any of, of the appropriate supplies, so I just donated a bag of chips instead. Because, you know, that's pretty, that's pretty typically American, I would say. Uh, store-bought chips. Um... Although I will say, I was quite amazed and surprised at the kinds of food that people brought. Like, the uh, the people from Argentina made emp empanadas, which were fantastic. But, like, wow, they had to, like, fry those. I don't know how they did that. Like, man. Um, and, like, the... This guy from Slovakia made sauerkraut stew, which I didn't have because I don't really like sauerkraut, but, like, a lot of effort put into that that I did not put, which is also fairly typically American, I guess, when you get down to it, you know, get away with, with as little as possible. Um, um, at the party thing, there was lots of food, like I said, so I ate, and it was tasty in general. There were some weird things as well. Um, and I did, like, an impromptu musical gig thingy with one, a girl from Russia who had a guitar. Um, we sang, um, the What If God Was One Of Us song, and some song that I'd never heard of before, and Falling Slowly, because that's, like, one of the three th songs I can play on the guitar from memory, um, and the only one that's not just strumming chords. <laughs> Um, and then, um, she sang some song in Russian, and I 
sang uh, Home by Philip Phillips, um, and I, <laughs> it was probably, it wasn't, it wasn't the best choice of songs to sing because I've never played it on the guitar before, I've only ever played it on the mandolin, and I was like, oh crap, I don't actually remember these chords, uh, also it's like, it doesn't really have a good build if you're just playing it on acoustic guitar, like, it has a decent build if you're playing it, if you're li like listening to the recording, because there's like lots of different instruments and like people stomping, but I couldn't do that because it was just me sitting on steps playing a guitar, but whatever. Um, and then I came back here and cleaned a lot of stuff. I haven't vacuumed yet. Um, I need to borrow a vacuum cleaner tomorrow morning at 8 o'clock in the morning. You can only borrow them between the hours of 8 o'clock and 9 o'clock in the morning, which makes zero sense to me. Like, for heaven's sakes, um, first of all, that's really early, uh, and second of all, like, what if someone else has the vacuum cleaner? There's, like, there's, like, six people who live here who are moving out tomorrow or Saturday, and what if they're using the vacuum cleaner? I need it tomorrow <laughs> because I'm moving out tomorrow, unlike most people who are moving out on Saturday. Um, so I kind of worry about that. Also, like it's gonna be kind of gross because I like I've spilled a bunch of like I've spilled like granola crumbs on the floor a lot because um, you know that's what happens when you eat at your desk. Um, but yeah, um, I cleaned everything, like I said. I, <laughs> um, I had to clean the bathroom, um, and I was like, I don't want to scrub the floor because I don't have a mop, so it would just be me on hands and knees. Um, so the bathroom looks like it used to be a shower. Uh, it's got like a drain in the center, and I was like, I'm just going to flood the bathroom. So I took the faucet from the current shower and just like sprayed it all over the floor. Uh, and then, like, schlucked it with my feet towards the drain, which actually it worked pretty well, although it's taking a while to dry. Um, so yeah, and I also washed, like, properly washed with soap and stuff, the sink and the shower. I've yet to do the toilet. I don't have a toilet brush in my bath in my bathroom, which is apparently there's supposed to be one there, so, like, I don't know how I'm going to clean the toilet. I'm not excited. Um... Yeah, I'm probably just gonna like put cleaning fluid in the toilet and then flush it a couple of times and be like, it's good. Just don't look closely. <laughs> um, whatever, it's fine. Um, yeah, and I packed almost entirely. I um, you can't really see it here. There is there's my suitcase. Forced perspective, it's actually quite a bit bigger than my hand. Um, and I have yet to pack the clothes that I'm wearing tomorrow, obviously, because I'm going to be wearing them tomorrow, sorry, and then these clothes, which I'm going to be wearing on the plane, um, and my bed linens, because I need to sleep on them tonight. Um, and also my overnight night get stuff, because I need to use that tonight and tomorrow morning. Um, yes, uh, oh, I, this is, um, exciting, I mentioned in class that I'm going to Nuremberg tomorrow, um, which is where my flight leaves from, my flight being at uh, 10.15 on Saturday morning. I'm leaving tomorrow because if I left on Saturday, I'd have to leave at approximately 5 o'clock in the morning to get there at in proper time, because it takes like an hour and a half by train, and then um, you're supposed to be at your gate for inter uh, transatlantic flights um, two hours ahead of time. So leaving enough time for delays and such like that would mean leaving at 5 o'clock in the morning, which would mean checking out at 5 o'clock in the morning, which would mean that someone would have to wake up at 5 o'clock in the morning and check me out. Not in like the, hey, sense, but the, sign, the way of like, sense, you know what I mean. Um, and I didn't really want to do that to someone, and I didn't want to wake up at 5 in the morning, although actually I probably would have just stayed up the entire night watching movies. Um, so... Where was I going with that? So I'm leaving tomorrow, um, and I mentioned that in class, and my teacher, uh, the cool teacher, the good teacher, was like, hey, I'm actually also going to Nuremberg tomorrow, or, uh, when are you leaving? And I was like, 
4 o'clock, and he's like, that's also when I'm leaving. Do you want to ride? And I was like, yeah, that'll be a lot easier than catching a train because I don't trust my ability to catch trains. <laughs> um, so that's good. He's going to drop me off at the train station, which is unfortunately on the other side of town, so I'm going to have to take public transit. <sighs> oh, well, that's fine. I have plenty of time. Um, unfortunately, I'll be carrying two large bags and a backpack with me, but whatever. Um, yes, so I'm excited about that. Um, although it's going to be kind of weird, like, being in a car with him for an hour and 15 minutes or whatever. Um, whatever, I'll have a book. It'll be fine. Apparently, Germans, like, don't feel the urge to talk when they're in such situations. We talked about this, actually, in one of my classes, so I know that. Um... Oh, uh, other things, I guess I can probably say now, um, the, like, the other stuff that I've been sort of mentioning over the past couple, couple video blogs is, is being super excited about dating Katie, um, and I, I didn't want to, like, mention it, like I said, because I didn't want to jinx anything, but now that, you know, that's, that's out there, I guess I can mention that on there, so yeah, I'm very excited, um, very happy over that. Um, what else? I have too much granola left, and I didn't end up using any of the pasta that I bought, <laughs> and I also didn't use, like, anywhere close to all of my, um, laundry detergent, um, so I just put them in the kitchen and left a sign being like, hey guys, so I'm returning to the U.S., and I really, I don't need these, so, like, use them, enjoy them. Um, yep, so I don't know what I'm going to do with my girl, though. Also, I need to throw my trash. I'll do that tomorrow after I get that out there. It's time for that. Yep. Um, I th think that is, that is pretty much everything. Um, this, this is weird, man. Like, I, I'm ready to go home in a lot of ways, because, like, it'll be nice being in the same time zones as everybody else that I know, um, and it'll be nice having a musical instrument, frankly. Like, there have been a number of times where I'm like, man, I just really, I really want to make music right now, but I can't. Should have brought my mandolin. Should have brought it. Oh, well. Um, but on the other hand, like, going back home means going to school, and I'm, I really don't, I don't want to. I'm not looking forward to this upcoming year. I think it's going to suck. We'll see. Well, whatever. Um, yes. So, I'm going to... Gosh, it's pretty late. I'm going to get washed up and changed and pack these clothes away. I'll wear them on Saturday. Um, and, uh, and yeah... And that's, um, I think that's it. I need to remember, remember to get the vacuum cleaner. I need to remember that, that's very important. That is actually probably one of the most important things tomorrow because they will charge me, or they will not return all of my deposit if I don't vacuum. And I don't want that. Uh, no one wants that. So yeah, that is all. I will talk to you guys later.